You know, I've always uh, driven RC cars and always had a track in my backyard. And when I saw this opportunity to have an indoor track and race year round, I thought that was, you know, really awesome. There are several outdoor tracks in, the, in, in Alabama, but we are the only indoor track. There are a lot of local racers around here, and um, they spread the word, and it just grew and continued to grow. Greg, what does the warehouse, what has it meant to you all these years? So, it means friends and family, and competition. You know, that's, that's what I love about really running running cars are because of the competition and then the, and then the getting to work on them. I just you go, it's like a home, you know, for people who stop racing and come back. It, it's been a lot, man. Like, I, I needed an outlet to have time for just me, and this has afforded me Tuesday nights of being able to do that, and so it means a lot to me. Um, so now I'm going to have to find something to do with my time. here at the warehouse since I was in second grade, so I was eight or nine, that was back in 2012, and I've been here ever since, and it's 2022, I'm a senior, about to graduate, and so I've basically just grown up here. I honestly can't believe that it's closing down, it's really sad. You know, for me, the warehouse has been a place that I've watched Joseph grow up, I've watched him mature to become a Great RC race. He and I have had so many great times together as father and son. It has been great for good friends and fellowship we've gotten to know up here. And uh, it's been a really fun time. I'm really going to miss it. Um, there's so many people we can thank, so many people we've gotten to know over these years. But, um, but I'll just say the warehouse will always have a very special place in our hearts and minds. And uh, just very thankful for our time here. So what does the track mean to me? Uh, the Warehouse Hobby Raceway means the world to me. Um, I started racing here, how long ago, Lisa? 2015. Well, since 2015 I raced here. I, I used to drag race and uh, got unaffordable, so I started racing RC cars again. And pa everything I do is with a passion, so uh, this has become my life now. At one point, it got to a point where I had to step up and pretty much run things to keep it going. And I, I felt like if I didn't do it, nobody else would. And uh, so I poured my heart and soul in the place. It's not just about racing toy cars, it's about family. And uh, we're all family, we get, <clears throat> I get really emotional, obviously, uh, <laughs> that kind of person. So that shows you what it means to me. It's fun, it's just, just pure fun. So the warehouse, was an escape. The warehouse was a place to have fun and competition, but it was more than that. It was it was family. It was nine of the best months of my life. It was it was fantastic. I can't wait till we get 2.0 going. It 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 needs to happen. And uh, it just it means a lot to me. And I'm gonna work really hard to make sure it comes back. <laughs> I guess that's about it. It's a way to get away from reality and um, just have a good time and be with family and friends. And uh, it's a, one of the greatest things you could do, uh, I think. So. The competition is, drives me to, to go crazy. The racing is very competitive here, probably the best in Alabama. The racers that come out of the warehouse uh, are usually very competitive when we go travel to to other cities and other states to race. Nothing we can do about it, but we're not giving up. We're going we're going to do something else. We're, gonna, uh, we're not done yet, so y'all stay tuned. So basically, you're saying you're like you're losing family. Yeah, I mean everyone up here has become family. I've made a lot of good friends and a lot of good memories up here. Um, gotten a lot better, a lot more competitive over the years and uh, it's just been really motivating to have fast racers up here. 
consistently to race against and to try to get better with um, and just to encourage me and encourage them. No, this isn't the end, but um, but this really is the end of an era. I'm going to miss it. Coming out of the rope section.